Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Checks Out, here with Damon Bracchio and Ted Ellipses at Brian's Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. Welcome to our show. So, uh, nothing about you being the star this week? I'm Ted Ellipses. Ted, yeah. does, Ted Ellipses <laughs> doesn't need to say he's a star. People just know. He bows to no one. Yeah, people just know he's the star. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, so this week, hold on. <clears throat> Because you said I couldn't be comfortable. I wanted to do that in the microphone. For everyone who wasn't here, that would be me and Brian were the only ones everyone who saw this. that's not you and Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Damon set his chair as if he was getting examined by a dentist when he got here. <laughs> yes, I did. Pulled the mic down like the dentist would pull down a light to look at the back of his teeth. Yeah, it was very comfortable. Oh, uh, it was gross. Yeah. And then I was told, uh, it no. It was gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I was trying. I feel if I'm comfortable, yeah. I will be way more productive. In this podcast. Yeah. And I was your, trying. Your moves had slid into your armpits. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, you yeah. were slid, you'd slid yeah. in that well, one. I'm, I'm <laughs> gross. <laughs> <clears throat> what? He literally looked up his phone to, to say that. <laughs> yeah. It was a pause up and then. <laughs> He's Googling moves. <laughs> Please do not. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please do not. Images. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Damon, I, I found you on two Google searches now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so uh, I didn't know you could do that with corn. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Can uh, let's catch up on our week, shall we? Yeah. Anything interesting happened in uh, your world? I traveled this week to Iowa. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Got trouble. Did, right here in River City. <laughs> right here. Uh, nothing really exciting though. No. No. Well, Good. oh, I I take that back. I was leaving the hotel, so I checked out, and I was going to the store, and I was as I. This is the problem. I did the. Uh, the Macarena, the wallet keys, phone, you know, yeah. Macarena on the way into the store as opposed to the way out of the hotel. So I'm in the store parking lot and I do the. Oh, no. Checking everything. One of the things was not there. One of these things were didn't you, belong Were you already there. checked out? Oh, yeah. I was already at a hotel. And it was. I'm at, I'm a, yeah, I'm a couple blocks away at a, at a store going in to get something. And I don't have my wallet. Oh, that's Which vital. I'm going to need at the store. Yeah. Right. So I go back. So I walk around the car at the, at the thing, at the store, and I look in the car. No, can't find it. Drive back to the hotel, walk in. At this point now, my glasses are totally fogged, so now I'm talking. Oh, so yeah, I'm like, yeah. I don't know if this is the person I just checked out with 10 <laughs> minutes ago or not. And I was like, did anyone turn in a wallet in the last 10 minutes? No, no one's been down here in like 20 minutes. Well, that's weird because I was just here 12 minutes ago, and you handed me a receipt, <laughs> I think. Hold on. So then I take my glasses down. I'm like, hey, that was you. You don't remember me being here? He's like, Two L's? Yeah. Two L's. Like, yeah. Come on, two L's. Room 211? If it was 311, Brian, not this Brian, but other Brian would be excited about it. <laughs> but you know, I was like, well, can I get a key to go check my room? He's like, yeah, sure. I go up there, open the door, just thinking it's just going to be sitting right where I put my coat on. Pulled, you know, Because I had my wallet, because I had my spare wa hotel key in it. So I, I knew I, I had to say it. spare wallet. Yeah. I had my spare wallet. <laughs> I had the one with the backup wallet. I'm had, not an idiot. I had the one with the Branson money in it, but I didn't have the one that had yeah. the, the the switch money in it. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, gotcha. I, did, I didn't have the work credit card one. I had the Branson money. Gotcha. But I had my wallet when I left the room because I, I handed the, you know, I had a spare key in it. But I go in there, open the door, there's nothing in there. And I was like, I knew it because I always check the room before I leave. I mean, I right. like, I like hard target search. every outhouse, doghouse, in house. I check it all before I walk out and I go back down the stairs. You're the I, Wayne, you're the Wayne May of, yeah, of I, hotel exits. I know a guy. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't take the elevator, so I went down the stairs, did the whole loop, came back in, and he's like, did you find it? And I was like, no, I didn't find it, but here's your key back. And then I go out, and I'm like, okay, now I've got to be the finder. Yeah. <laughs> so I sit, I, I probably parked where I was originally parked. I'm looking there, and I was like, what else did I do? And I realized I pulled my gloves out, out of my pocket, the same pocket my wallet was in, but the, the wallet wasn't visibly on the ground. So I get down on all my hands and knees, and look, it was behind the tire of the car next to me. But not like underneath, like under the car. So on the inside of the tire behind it. So it must have like rolled under there. Because mm -hmm. apparently I have a round wallet now. Yeah. <laughs> and I get it. And I was like, oh, thank God. Because, I mean, <clears throat> like, just imagine like you're, now I'm, I would have been three and a half hours away with absolutely zero cash, no cards, no nothing. Right. And I would have had to go to my coworkers and be like, can, can I borrow some money so I can, yeah. <laughs> so I can eat yeah. and put gas in the car? <laughs> Isn't that a rental? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I still need to fill it up though. It doesn't, it doesn't like, I can't just rent gas and pay them back later. <laughs> yeah. 
It's okay. It's a rental. Yeah. But <laughs> everyone's like, hey, I hope you like, I hope you're having a good day. How, how's your day been? No, so it's it's not even 7 30. And I've already sweated out every liquid I've had. Well, and you've since been birth. on your hands and yeah. knees in an ice cold parking right. lot looking for a wallet. But you have that like that stress sweat where you're just like, oh man, I gotta call yeah. every credit card company. Uh like I had cash in there. You know, I had the picture of my dead aunt. You know, like, I don't know. I don't right. You know what I mean? It was just like, well, I'm never going to be able to replace that stuff. I had a Dave & Buster's car that still has some tickets on it. That's never coming back. Oh, man. Which is, what a waste. Is the card I use to scrape the car when the rental car doesn't, <laughs> doesn't yeah. put a scraper yeah. in. Yeah. I always right. go to the trunk like, man, why don't I check this when I get the car? I'm always like the next morning in the hotel like, yeah, that was something you should have well, checked out. Well, you got to pick a card that's expendable too. Yeah. In case something bad right. happens. Yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> this, this Batman logo, Dave and Buster card, you're you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you are expendable. Yeah, so that was that was exciting. <clears throat> so problem averted then. You you were yeah, good. Yeah, found everything. We're good. So what's the total time frame on this? Half hour? Uh, How long was the panic sweat? It's probably forty five minutes. Wow. Yeah. No, that's that's enough to work you up pretty. Solid. Yeah, I was I was exhausted the rest of the day. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, that's it. I'm spent. And then I yeah. had to go, you know, work a full day and then drive home. Well, if you don't find your wallet, it's like, okay, I live here now. Yeah. And uh, I guess I well, work here. I I live in this rental car now. Yeah. <laughs> I've never lived in an Audi before, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're already like building a fort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, but buddy, buddy, you want to borrow 20 bucks? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, uh, where's that store where all the homeless people get those signs that they put on the side of the road that say, hi, I'm homeless. Yeah. <laughs> Need help. Where do they get those signs? <laughs> You're trying. I assume they're free. It's like you're the the, the new guy on Undercover Billionaire. You're dropped <laughs> in a new place. I don't even have a hundred dollars. Okay, first thing, I sell the rental car. <laughs> yeah. I, what's my only asset? This car. <laughs> oh, I got it. Well, I gotta, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I got to keep the key though. Yeah. I got to return that at I gotta, least. Yeah, I got to return the key. Right. I wish they'd have gave me two keys. <laughs> but uh, I hate when they do that. I hate when they like have the two keys like. Yeah. Connected by a steel coil. Well, a steel coil that will never fit in anything. Like, right. how do I put that in my pocket? Yeah, I think I've ruined more coat pockets. Yeah, by carrying around nineteen rental car yeah. keys. Yeah. Well, my my thing was because I used to do a lot of business with Hertz and stuff. Being in the car business, you know, you deal with. Yeah, guys. I thought it was a bit mirror business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they would, uh, they give me that stuff, and they'd be like, "Why don't you just give me a chain like Flava Flav? I'll hang them around my neck." <laughs> Seriously. And they're like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm serious." And the bad part is, if you drop those keys. My wife never understood, and other people that travel with me, they, they like I look like a freak. But when you get out of the car, and you're walking, and like you're walking over grates or over you know big sewer drains and this and that, yeah. I have a death grip. Like like honestly, somebody could run by and try to get them out of my hands, and they'll rip my arm off. Your, your hand will come first, like yeah. And 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 people look at me, and they're like, your your hands changing colors. I'm like, yeah, because if I drop this now, and we're 300 miles away or 700 miles away from where I got it, the key, I'm screwed. Yeah. So this th this is like gold. However, it's too big to go in any one of my pockets. Right. Without like seriously ripping <clears throat> the lining of the pocket or stabbing you. Yeah. I mean, you might as well be like, hey, can you just put these on a cinder block? Yeah. It'd, you be, have, it'd be more convenient. Do you have a machete you yeah. could put these on because I feel like I could get that in my pocket easier. I think maybe I should just get a body piercing and have like a... <laughs> have like, yeah. Well, it, it, I was good. That's a better one. I was going to go. go like a loop just like on my hip. Yeah. 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 See? A little subdermal, just yeah. get a magnet and plane. Yeah, that's smarter. Shirt. I was going to go with yeah. the loop sticking out of my hip that I could just like clip them on. <laughs> well, I like your magnet. Hey, idea. they work for a towel rack when you're yeah. brushing your teeth too, yeah. so that'd be good. <clears throat> I, I would go with that. Air like that. would love you. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so would so would gymnast. Yeah. <laughs> I have suspenders that are supposedly TSA uh, uh, no compliant. No. Oh, they are. They don't set off the thing. But really? if you go to the O'Hare one where they scan you and check for your you, for your. Uh, you have a sub peanut. Nice. When they check you for that <laughs> and they come through, they're always like, what are those suspenders? Yeah. But they still want to feel you up to be, to be sure. Like, <laughs> what do you think I'm like? They're attached to hey, my tassels. I know you're off, going with that. I know you're going. First off, it's your own fault for wearing them sexy ass suspenders. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but I was like, uh, those, sir, are no longer my suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> they were not holding that up yeah. and now it's up on its own. Thank you. So anyway, can I? <laughs> 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 if I could, I'll give you a story from my week. <clears throat> I was hanging out with a buddy of mine, and uh, we went. Wait, wait, wait. Already implausible. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Okay. So this guy couldn't get me out of his truck, right? So you're watching and, a TV show about a guy hanging out with his buddy. <laughs> with you so far. I'm with you. So this is Treadflix, all right, Damon? 
<laughs> You're with the only person that can stand you for any length of time it's yourself. Plausible. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what it is is um, what was it? It was a Tuesday morning. Cause you know, we had all that snow. It was just brutal. So he says, Hey, he goes, I gotta run down and and, and plow something, and then I'm gonna come back <clears throat> and uh I'll pick you up. And he says, I gotta go hit oh, a couple. Oh, he didn't need you for the plowing? No, no. He goes, I get he goes, we'll hit a couple more driveways in my neighborhood, and then and then uh he goes, I'll hit your driveway. Well, here's the deal. My wife had to get out of the driveway in the morning, and there's no way we could have got out of the garage. Yeah. So <clears throat> my buddy with the plow shows up after I've already snowblowed the driveway for an hour and a half, two hours, you know, and shoveled and everything else. He proceeds to tell me, well, I'll scrape this back. I says, do me a favor, because now I have to do my yard, because I have a uh, an 18-inch dog, you know, tall to the top of the head, and I have a, about 24 inches of snow blown over in my yard. You're, so, you're much nicer. My dog has just learned how to sit in his own urine, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't shovel anything out for him. <laughs> well, the math, like, like if you threw the dog in the yard, you'd be like, where's the dog? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, which again, fun game yeah, for me. For you. Yeah. You'd yeah. love that. Rest yeah. of the family. You're not coming not, home if you do not that. Not a fan. Though. Right. You're in your house. You're not coming home. <laughs> Correct. So, my buddy shows up. I says, hey. I said, I got I got a shovel. And, and I'm shoveling this snow. So, I got to shovel a, a path that the dog likes to take to go potty. Because if you shovel a different path, they don't go potty there. Uh, I'm going to pause you for a second. I, I think this is going to explain a question I didn't ask you when I showed up at your house today. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. <clears throat> it, it, it will. We're yeah, totally I think it will. Because it. it was like, what happened here? So anyway, I start I start digging and I said, hey, I said, I got to dig like a 10-foot circle over here. I said, because this is where she's got to crap. I said, because otherwise, I've seen where she craps. I'm not a fan. Okay. <laughs> On an unrelated note, if you're looking for any earth tone tie dyed shirts, I have a few say, for sale. Yeah, yeah, I have a few they for sell, sale. They sell those real well in like Arizona and New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so it's very, they're very uh, uh, trendy. Okay, yeah. so just let me know. So anyway, um, I, I don't want her to crap there, so right. I'm going to give her a place to crap. Ta da! <clears throat> right. <laughs> so he says, "Well, hey, if I lift the blade, I could probably go right into your yard." I said. Cowboy up, let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> so so he comes across the curb and goes through and uh, he plows. And then he's he's all the way up. Like well, you saw, he yeah. plowed basically my whole front yard. Yeah. So like I have green grass and then I have snow drifts of like three and a half, four feet. Right. Because that's where he plowed. And uh, then I shoveled a path for the dog to go through these drifts. Yeah. Because he was getting close. I have landscaping up around that tree in my yeah, front. Now you have like two boobs in your yard. <clears throat> yeah. Because you... you you shoveled out the cleavage. Right. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, but he, uh, he, he did all this. So I'm like, okay, this dog has real, seriously, the dog has more grass than any dog in the Chicagoland area right now. Yeah. I guarantee it. Okay. I guarantee it. The dog goes outside and she goes, I said, so did she use the yard? Cause the dog should be telling me, thank you. Not, you know what I mean? And she goes, yeah, she crapped on the sidewalk. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what? what you, I, I, we cleared all this space, you know? I reject just, your yeah. reality and substitute my own. <laughs> yeah. Touche. <laughs> Why don't you put some laundry on the floor? We'll see what's really going to happen later on. So, but no, and, and everybody was, oh, you really do love that dog. No, I love my clothes. Yeah. I love my house. Yeah. I love my stuff. Yeah. I so. love not having poop in my house. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. Like I said, that was the, the grossest feeling ever. It's in your hand. It's not like I stepped <laughs> in it. It's your hand. You reach down for a, a piece of clothing you put right there. You know you're going to put it on. You reach down. And I don't remember my clothing squishing before. Yeah, yeah. What was I eating? Pudding? What, what happened? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. I don't know yeah. why that made it gross for me, but it did. <laughs> it was, it was bad. You can hear the squelch. <clears throat> well, so, well, it was weird though because when I pulled up to your house, I was like, "Oh, was the plow guy an ass to you too?" <laughs> no. Did I tell the story last week where the no where uh, I'm shoveling because I get the same snow that because I'm you know on Tuesday, but that's the <laughs> you day got I, the same snow. same snow. Correct. Weird. Well, I probably got a little bit less, but Tuesday, <clears throat> that's the day I drove to Iowa. It was a day offset yeah. because I had a doctor's appointment on Monday. Um, so I had to shovel out the whole driveway. Yeah. And then drive in a car for three and a half hours. So literally, by the time I got there, I was like crawling out of the car because my, my muscles you and legs were up. like, oh, yeah. hey, we're, we're going solid now. Yeah. We're going <laughs> statue, buddy. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm going down the sidewalk and suddenly I realized like, wait a minute. Where did this 12 feet of snow come at the corner? Because my house is the same as your house, just flipped. Right. I have a corner. Right. We're on. A, we're both on a corner. Yeah. Well, it wasn't someone moving a spot for the dog. It was the plow driver from the village decided, I'm just, we're just going to push all the snow from the cul-de-sac up into Ted's yard. So they literally just came around the corner and just shoved where the, where the two roads meet. They just shoved it all the way up, 
they're probably a good 10, 12 feet into the yard. Wow. And the neighbor was coming with his blower from the long part of the sidewalk, <clears> and he was graciously doing my part. He, would, he had gone past his. Until he got to Mount Everest. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It was like, if I'm there first, I will do his sidewalk. If he gets there first, he does my sidewalk. It's an unwritten thing that we do. Right. And all of a sudden, we look at each other, and we're like, nope. Just shook our heads, yeah. turned around. <laughs> like, we just stopped. We're like, what's the point of doing the sidewalk at all? You can't get past this. Right. So I thought, like, the, the guy had done the same thing to you. Like, <clears> you asked the guy to do it. To be fair, he didn't leave it, like, on the sidewalk. He pushed it up into the yard so it right. spread out. Right. You know, it looks like Moses was there spreading the Red Sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bible no. stories with, with Ted Ellipses. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but no, I, I, yeah, it, so, uh, it was amazing. Because, you know, it, I don't know that it snowed that much on Monday night, but it was a light snow and it blew. It drifted. Oh, that's the thing. That, so yeah. all the stuff, so like my driveway, which I had pretty clear, I come out the next morning, it was almost two feet deep on the edges because it, it just blew across. Yeah. And I'm like, awesome. So that's what you were doing. So you the, know? for the people that are going to call PETA on me, my dog, half the yard <laughs> is pretty low because it drifted to the other half of the yard. Right. So it's like six inches on one side and it's like 40 feet on the other. Yeah. Because that's the way the wind was blowing. But the only problem is like to get out, he has to go through like some of that drift to get over to the six. And so I did clear a little bit of that, but it's funny. If I, w if I legitimately threw him out the back door, we would never find him again. Yeah. Cause yeah. it would just, foo. all right, well, that's how many would be dog Maybe. sickles out there. Where's the dog? I don't know, but she's cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, so we, we leave the house. I hop in with him and he goes, Hey, I got to hit two driveways over by my house. So we go to his, his buddy, Kevin's house lives, lives down the street from him. And, uh, like one block over down the street. And, uh, He's uh he does Kevin's driveway. Well, as we're doing it, okay, and he's fast with the plot. I mean, he, this guy's got a three car wide driveway. Well, he's, he's fast, right? I've so, heard that about you. <laughs> fast with the plow. Uh, but <laughs> what are you shaking your head for? <laughs> you should not even be awake. <laughs> it, took, it, it took a second for him to get over there because it was like, <laughs> yeah, that was wafted. That was weird. It was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're talking to gross. Yeah. So anyway, so. We get like halfway done and he's backing down the driveway, dragging snow away from the garage door, right? Yep. So he's dragging it. And there's a guy standing there looking at us. Now it's cold as hell on Tuesday. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, cold, yeah, cold, yeah, yeah. you know? This guy's standing there smiling. And I'm, I'm already, like, I'm already creeped out. Yeah. And, and I'm like, and so I go, hey, you got a visitor. Now we get the windows down because what'll happen is, is when the snow flies up, we have to keep wiping the mirrors off so you can see when you're going backwards. Otherwise, you're just going to hit something. So, I'm like, dude, you're going to have to talk to him. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. He backs up. He goes, what's up? And he goes, he goes, uh, what do you charge? And Jeremy tells him, he goes, he goes, I'm not for hire. He goes, this is a friend of mine. He says, I'm going to do his driveway like that. And he says, he says, sorry, man, I'm just not for hire. He's okay. Okay. Well, we're shoveling. We're doing it by hand over there shoveling. And I just figured I'd ask, you know, and he walked away. So, <clears throat> so the guy goes back like two doors down and he's shoveling. And like, like you can tell he's kind of, he's, he's pissed, but he's more upset maybe. So Jeremy looks to the left and he goes, "Oh, I know that guy. That's one of uh, Clara's. Oh God. Yeah, this is <laughs> that's one of one of my daughter's uh, friends' dads. And his snowblower's broke in the middle of the driveway. Like he can't, and and it's deep, like mine was. And he goes, he goes, I better go help him. <laughs> I said, Yeah, you better. And I waited till he got over here to do that. And I go, Hey, that guy over there is doing the most angry job of shoveling I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Every one of those shovelfuls is your freaking face right now." <laughs> <laughs> and he's just looking at me and I go, I go, you know, that son of a bitch is like, he knows him too. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and he started laughing and he goes, what do, what do you mean? I says, I said, I'm telling you right now, this guy wants to know who the mayor of his street is because you know, he knows everybody <laughs> but him. Okay. <laughs> you would have been best because you know that guy, you should have called that or text that guy. I'm like, Hey, can you run out here with some cash real quick? <laughs> he did. <laughs> so the guy comes out when he's done, he goes, take this money. And Jeremy's like, I don't want the money. And he goes, take it. Take it. He goes, buy beer. But he goes, next time you come over here to have a beer with me, you can bring the beer like that. And 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 I take it back out of the thing and I go, here, he's not going to take it. You know, because he's handing it through the passenger right. window where I'm sitting and he's putting it on the, like on top of the glove box. I'm like, here. So he throws it in the back seat, right? So I look at Jeremy and I go, I go, listen, you don't have a hair on your ass if you don't drive past the other guy and let me crisp, <laughs> right. crisp that $20 bill and just be like, for 20 bucks, we did that guy's driveway, <laughs> but we won't do yours. <laughs> we won't do yours for any price. <laughs> and Jeremy's like, man, no, I feel bad. I'm like, you should. Cause that guy's over there going, you know, everybody. <laughs> right? <laughs> and so he did, he ended up, he, he goes down and the, he goes, let me at least push the, the heavy stuff. Like where the plow yeah. comes through. He goes, I'm going to push that out of the way for the guy. Cause he was on his way back. He goes, I'll push that. Well, the guy had like half of it shoveled down, 
<clears throat> already halfway down the driveway. And Jeremy's like, he goes, you got a minute? I'm like, I'm with you, whatever. We got time. So he he just ended up doing the whole driveway. And the guy's like, can I, can I give you some money? He's like, no, I, I'm not for hire. Just thank you, you know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, but I started laughing. And he goes, and the guy's like, my name's so-and-so. And, and Jeremy's like, I'm Jeremy. And I said, you better tell him because he wants to know who the mayor of his street is. I said it real loud, right? And Jeremy's just like, oh, my God, you know? <laughs> See, this is where I would have been like, now, he won't take any money. Right. <laughs> but you can pass some bills to the passenger side. <laughs> <laughs> I go by my initials, ATM. I'll take those right here. <laughs> but it, it was just funny, though, because it's like, you know, this guy, and and I feel bad because I was out clearing that stuff. So I know, and it was cold. Yeah. And I had a snowblower, and it was cold. And, you know, no matter how the wind, the wind's swirling. So you're like, I'm going to aim it that way. It's in my face. Yeah. I'm going to aim it this way. It's also in my face. Yeah. You know? You're like, this I, is great. I'm lucky that I can see fairly well with it. Like, I, don't, I can't read with them, but I don't I don't need my glasses to, to live. Yeah. So, because otherwise. Cause I, I take I, mine I, off I when I do that yeah. too, yes. I tried. And uh, it was a scarf. And I even have a mask on because it keeps my face warm. That's right. the only positive of these masks. Like, Correct. Your face is warm. But yeah. then I was like one shovel in and I'm like, I don't know where I'm at. Like, I got lost in my own driveway. I have no idea where I'm at because it just, like, boom, straight up. Like, it was just totally gone. i done the same thing. And then I have the, the like, the landscaping rock on the sides of both driveway. He's right here. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Too far. Too far. You know? And I like to put on, because I don't I don't wear earmuffs, but I'll put on my my, my noise-canceling headphones. Yeah, yeah. And they'll keep your ears. And I got a hood over those, you know? Right. But, uh, but you got that on. And so even like when I'm starting it, I'm pulling the one back and everybody's looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, I want to make sure it's started. Right. And I got the choke. <laughs> You're not just pushing <laughs> yeah. the dead. Yeah, it's like, this is really heavy. This is heavy and there's no snow being thrown, <laughs> you know? It, it's just amazing because just imagine that guy. He's been out there for six hours. <laughs> he ain't done nothing. <laughs> you know? You're just making it a nice slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, but no, I, I, that, was, that was my story for the week. And I just, I thought, man, this guy here... I so bad. And again, I wouldn't have done that because it's not my nature, but to just right. to, to to put it that way. And I don't say that I guilted him into it because he was already going to head over there because yeah. he's already like, as we're doing it, he's like, man, because this guy, look, Ted, I'm telling you right now, nobody can see my face, but this guy's like shoveling, turned his head and looks, shoveling, turned his head and look like, like that guy's still there. That guy's still there. That guy, And I'm like, I'm like, dude, he wants to murder you with his shovel. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and I'm interested to see how it plays out. Correct? Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is crisp this twenty dollar bill on the way by, <laughs> just to see what's really going to happen here, you know. So, but no, it was it was it was very funny. Damon's about to get a truck with a plow on it. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the truck? <laughs> <laughs> just real quick, just real quick. I got a question. Yeah, I already got the document filled out. Yeah. Can you sign this? Yeah, I had a feeling something bad was yeah. going to happen today. <laughs> You know? you're, you're you're doing the, you're you're snapping it like in the twenty. Can you sign this real quick? <laughs> a witness just pops out of the back seat. Witness, what what, you, what what is this? Oh, I know that guy. He's across the street here. Like you think you're the only one who knows people on the street? Turns out the guy with the shovel is also a notary. We're golden. <laughs> but uh, but no, so that, that was pretty pretty wild. Uh, and then, like I said, we went and cleaned some more, <clears throat> some more driver, like his, his parents and, and stuff like that, you know? Um, and then he's like, you want to, is your mom and dad need, it was very nice, you know? So we kind of ran around and did that in the morning and, uh, and just kind of helped shovel people out. Cause man, it was, it was, it was bad. Well, you know? it, it, to the point though, like, cause I did it by hand cause we've discussed how my blower isn't working, but yeah. I had to like get to the edge and then pick it up and put it over the drift that was already at the side of the that, driveway. That, that is, that's the hard part. So what I was doing is when it was only like about an inch and a half, two inches on the driveway, I had that big wide blade, yeah. you know, that I push like it. a plow. So I push it to the sides. And then what I do is at the end, I could turn the snowblower around and just go down the sides and it would throw oh, it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's faster than running up and down every row with a snowblower. And, and when you're in the thing and yeah. Well, when you're in the middle of the driveway, realistically, you're not you're you're not even throwing it all the way off the driveway. Right. You're throwing it to the edge anyway. Yeah. And then two rows over, you're throwing that snow a little farther, you know, and you're yep. you're you're never really unless you're right at the edge, you're never fully not throwing it on the driveway. So I said, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. And, and that worked out pretty good until it drifted that night. Yeah. I got up the next morning. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. No. Yeah. Because he even told me, he's like, hey, I'll come over in the morning. We'll scrape it with the blade. I'm like, awesome. I don't have to go out in the cold. I put the garage door up and there's like a foot and a half of snow. And I'm like, no. Yeah. When I went to bed, there was like three inches of snow, but it just kept blowing and blowing and blowing, you know? So it was, uh, it was pretty wild. Again, I, I'm just done. I'm done with the bitter cold. I'm done yeah. with snow. 
Uh, people that go, oh, this is beautiful, Winter Wonderland. No, no, I'm sorry. Well, I have some coworkers that, that are like, oh, I wish it would sound like that down here. Like, then come up here. We'll trade. Yeah. I'll go where you are. I mean, this week you couldn't go anywhere except the, like, the, the tip of Florida's wang was the only place where yeah. it was like, <laughs> yeah. it was weird. It was like, yeah. like 10 degrees everywhere in the country. Tampa, 80. Yeah. You're like, what? What's going on there? Yeah. Yeah. Te Texas is like, you know, it'll be, oh, yeah. I totally. Yeah. And I got I got family down in Texas. They yeah. got their power back and stuff, but man. I know a guy in Texas, he he lost his power clearly because everyone did. So he went down the street to his uh, relative's house, and while he was gone, a pipe burst. Every room, every room in this house was covered in like two inches of water. So it's, what people don't know, because I know a guy that used to be a plumber. Okay. So what oh, people, you know a guy? Yeah. <clears throat> what people don't you, realize is that water damage is by far worse in most cases than fire damage. Yeah, it's the water damage when they're putting out a fire. They're putting out the fire. Because yeah. I hate to say it, if your second floor is on fire, when they put the water, it's gravity, folks. That water goes from your second floor that's putting out the fire through your first floor, usually into your basement. So you now have three floors of water damage that you're, you know. Son of a gun, you've cracked the code. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn so that, it, it, it sucks that. <laughs> yeah. You just, did you see how, like, like, Texas is deregulated, so they have their own energy uh, grid, which, you know, they talk about that's why it went down, but they pay by the supply and demand. Some people were getting bills for one day of electricity in the thousands of dollars. Yeah. Well, Jerry Jones, they said, one made out like a bandit. Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did, like, did, <laughs> Who left the damn lights yeah. on in the laundry room? Talk about <laughs> setting off your, da your dad, your dad meter. Yeah. Hey, hey Damon, I think I'm going to touch your thing. That's a good, that's a good roll in though to pet peeves. Okay, let's that, go. I want to talk peeves. about, I, so Here's the deal. When we do this podcast, we uh, just like though, yeah. well, last week we barely made thirty five minutes. We're thirty minutes in. We still haven't gotten off. <laughs> hey, how was your week, <laughs> um, Brian? Just so you know, it's rollover minutes from last week, so yeah. that's how it counts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's singular yeah. wireless rollover. <laughs> <laughs> we have till the end of the month to use them. Okay, I'm yeah. just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but so when we do the when we do the show, I, I keep notes on my phone. Okay. And uh, when I say notes, they're like topics. They're, 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 they're headlines, okay? Now, if I have a strange story, which we'll get to later if we have time, but uh, I keep, those are more spelled out. It's, a, it's usually, a, I read through it once to make sure, like, we can have some fun with it. But then it's kind of a cold read when I do it. Yeah. I just want people to realize that when we do this stuff, a lot of times, the first time we have physically talked to each other is when you show up in my driveway, we get in the van and come here. Yeah. And, and we, 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 we data dump all of the stuff we're not allowed to talk to. Talk about on the podcast. We do, we do, we 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 really do, and we use uh, football words or whatever else that we I, you know that we don't want to use. You don't, really my use. goodness, Damon, I would never <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> put that out there. You son of a gun, <laughs> but you uh, son of a bean. Yeah, but uh, but so when we do this, like when I walked in, I told I told Mac and I told Ted, I said, hey, I said I'd like to talk about pet peeves today. So just be thinking. Yeah. So and that's the most heads up they got. And like I said, I, I have pet peeves written down, and I have a few of mine, and not any notes on them, just. Like, I have at-home ones, and I have public ones, okay? The at-home ones may be a little sensitive, <laughs> so I'm going to really be careful with those, all right? Because people listen? Is that what you're thinking? Well, you know what's funny is... Because people don't. Nobody's really a fan of me in my house, so that's pretty solid. <laughs> well, hey, everybody, we've come to the end of the podcast, because if anything else in the world, that checks out. <laughs> First off, we can we can Brian. It's over. We can go home yeah. now. We've met the next. It was nice knowing you, Brian. It was maybe I'll yeah. stop into someone else's podcast. Wait a minute, if they we're, need a sidekick. We're at the corner of first and first. <laughs> we're at the nexus of the universe. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. All yeah. right. So anyway, no one likes you at home. That's where <clears throat> we're at. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not kind of. I, I was spinning it back to your story. Right. It's That's not where really, we're at. Not really what I said. Oh, but, okay. but I but I got you. All okay. Right. Um. But I do have some, I have some pet peeves at home. So I figured if we do two different categories and you might have somewhere else, like I, I, I don't want to, I wouldn't talk about anything at work. I'm not going to talk about anything really too bad at home, but there's little stuff. Most people that know me know that I'm, I'm kind of really anal about keeping stuff clean. Like I, I don't want, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're also very much. Yeah. Ooh, squirrel. Yeah. You're very much Doug from up. Ooh, squirrel. Very much dog from up. Yeah. That was the dog. The, it's the squirrel. I, like, <laughs> yeah, you are sorry, correct. I went with the actual reference. You just referred to it. Yeah. I apologize. <clears throat> um, so so my big thing, um, like kitchen counters, okay? Clutter drives me crazy. I, I, we have clutter, but like I also... <laughs> yeah, you got a cowbell over there? <laughs> Are you <laughs> needs more cowbell. Bessie, Bessie, come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. What I, are you doing? I, I just need more cowbell. Yeah. 
<laughs> Christopher Walken, everybody. That was my beans hitting the garbage can. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's colder in here than we thought. All right, Well, cool. wouldn't those go up? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. It's warmer in here than we thought. It's the beans hitting my can. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the beans above the frank. <laughs> it's cold. That's Fra- how. Frank and beans. <laughs> so, uh, so, kitchen counters... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any random Mardi Gras noisemakers you'd like to use over there? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it Wait, about hold time? On. <laughs> hold on, let me get some beads. Yeah. Isn't let me it get a- some beads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me some beads, Brian. I got my shirt up. Isn't it about time for your random walkthrough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's three chairs in your way. We're certain to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> First off, if he falls and starts cussing, I'm leaving it in because it's totally worth it and I'm going to be laughing too hard. Um, That kid is on the escalator again. All right. (laughs) So kitchen counters. (laughs) 45 minutes later, pet peeves. Now we're 61 minutes in. (laughs) But uh, All right, it's the bottom of the hour time for a (laughs) station identification. This is... Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. For now. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, we'll see how the stocks do. But anyway, I, I love when you laugh that hard. That's funny. For now. You know, Brian didn't laugh at that one because <laughs> he's on his no. phone checking his yeah. stocks. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do they know? What do they know? <laughs> what have they heard? Brian Musk, everybody. So, uh, you no, know, what I hate is when I take the time to, like, I'll do the dishes and I hand wash everything. I don't really use the dishwasher. Because by the time you run the dishwasher and everything else, it's like I could have had them washed, dried, put away, and been doing something for 45 minutes. No, the dishwasher only takes two hours. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Right. And then, when, then you want something out of there, and it's like, hot, hot, <laughs> hot. Because you never, yeah. <laughs> you know. You can always tell when I'm unloading the dishwasher right after it ended, because there's a lot of, foom, like a lot of flying <laughs> stuff into the, wow, you're a little loud in there. Yeah, because it was either put that in the cabinet, or my skin was going with it. Yeah. Every piece of silver was a three-point shot from yeah. the dishwasher. We're good. I'm, in, I'm pulling up to the three-point line. Um, but no, like I'll do that. Then I'll clean all the counters and I'll do that early in the morning. Uh, especially on weekends, you know, I do, I do that early in the morning. So then everybody gets up and they start like filtering through there, make breakfast, do this net. And, and I look and I'm like, you can't even tell I did anything. And that drives me crazy. You'll come there. Oh, because you can't get credit for the work you've done? Is no, that where we're at? No, because mentally, now I see there's a dollop of syrup. There's a pile of crumbs. There's a wrapper from, from something. There's this. And I'm like, that was all clean a minute ago. You know, I... I can't like sit and relax in my house. It even, it was really hard. Football season's over, but come noon on Sunday, I would like to plant myself for at least three hours, sometimes longer, you know, and I can't do that if there's a mess around me and my family room's right off the kitchen. So I can see that. The you best know? part of waking up <laughs> is messing up with Damon cleaned up. It, it, it really is. <laughs> and then like the top of the stove and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, the top but, of the stove. It's now, like, the one we won't see eye to eye on, uh-oh, I'm sure. Uh-oh. Toilet seats, okay? I like toilet seats down all the time. The lids and everything, just closed. Your house, a lid necessitates like a panic mode, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. It, so, well, to be fair, they have, they have, they've gone from, they've got, they have gone to the other side of the spectrum. Really? It used to be lid down, door <clears throat> shut. I don't even want to know about it. Time to it. list the house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now I will be somewhere on the other side of the house and I will hear aggressive plunging. Yeah. So okay. they're, they're trying now. So there's an effort. There's an effort now. Gotcha. But man, are they angry at that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know you could aggressively plunge a toilet yeah, until yeah. just like two <laughs> they, weeks ago. They cleared a clog in the street. <laughs> <laughs> but it literally set off my dad alarm. Like, it was like, it was like someone had touched the thermostat times a, times a million. Yeah. Like, what is that noise? <laughs> Wait a minute. I've heard that sound. Yeah, that is a Just familiar not noise. that level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when I walked out and I saw that it wasn't my wife, because even the, unless she teleported, there was no way she could have gotten from that bathroom to where I saw her at, and, you know, in the time the sound ended. Right. And I was like, oh, that's one of the children. Please have, tell me they're using a plunger. Because I can see them, like, you know, with a mop, you know, or, or like the toilet brush. Why isn't this working? Louisville slugger. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what, what are you doing? <laughs> One of your they're holding on to the ru- They're holding on to the rubber part and just have the handle in there. Yeah. Just, like, oh, wow. Why do you have your foot in there? Don't worry, Dad. I put on one of your boots first. It's, yeah. it's okay. And people are like, what are, you, what are they eating? Like, I don't know. Yeah. The same food is in the house that I eat. <clears throat> yeah. The Wilson family, sponsored by Metamucil. <laughs> Seriously. I would like to know, because if I could get some of it solid, that'd be great. Right. <laughs> that's for you, Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian. 
Uh, so you like him down. You look it, lost it, now. Do you like him down? Is there, is there a reason? I just that? like I just like him down when because especially downstairs the well first off my dog would die because no matter if you give him fresh water from the from the refrigerator he yeah. will drink that mm -hmm. if you put water out the in the dish no really yeah except except the water that the house provides for him and th the three toilets <laughs> around nice. that's fine and he likes it right after someone's flushed. Because he likes it fresh. Well, it's fresh. But yeah. I've gone into rooms right after someone's flush. Like, the water might be fresh, but the room is like, oh, oh man. <laughs> wow. I think some aggressive something was going on in here. Bon appetit, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Bon appetit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I just, I always like the seats down. I don't know why. It's just, it's a, it's a, and the other thing is, too, especially if you're doing something in the, in the bathroom, you can't drop anything in there if yeah. the seat's down. You, or the lid. I shouldn't say that. The seat is separate. I'm talking about the, the lid. lid. Yeah. When you're not using it, it should be closed as if it's it's sitting in a hardware store. Yeah. Boom, there it is. You I know? will say that I do that in a mm -hmm. hotel. Like when I like during the day, I'll leave it up because I'm the only one. Right. In well, there. hotel, you have limited space, so yeah, you hate dropping stuff yeah. in there. If I'm if I'm just in there and I'm not like using the bathroom for like you know getting ready for work, I yeah. just leave everything up because I'm just I'm the only one in there. Right. So I I know what I'm going to be doing, but when I'm like in the morning. I slam that thing down because, you know, I don't want to lose. Right. I don't bring a lot of extra stuff. <laughs> Wallets. Yeah. Oh, let's extra go back. Wallet. Guess what I forgot to pack on the trip this time? Toothbrush. No, it's worse. I can go buy a toothbrush. Spray? Or I, go I can go down to the, to the desk and ask for a toothbrush. No, I apparently forgot to pack extra pants. <laughs> Shut <No>. up. <laughs> and I, I got out my suspenders. How do you? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you had boxers and suspenders going to work? Well, no, I mean I wore a pair of pants out there. But I I like I grabbed the my my black suspenders and went to grab my black pants and I was like there is nothing black in this suitcase. There's not a there's not a stitch of pants in so, here. So you have to spend some ransom money at Target, did you? I'm not going to tell you how I figured this plan out. But I did tell a story about going to a store. If you recall? <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I was just like, you know, because I have I have gray pants and I have black pants. I mean, multiple pairs. It's like right. my pants drawer looks like a cartoon character. Like, because I was like, oh, those pants are done. Just pull out another one, exact same <laughs> pair. Because I buy them in like four at a time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I I was I had the gray pair on, and then the next day I was going to wear the black pair. So I grabbed the black suspenders out of the suitcase and go, uh, oh no, I hope the shirts I packed go with gray pants because that's what we're doing today. But wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great it was a great. It was fantastic. <laughs> and then flashback to remember, like, oh right, I set those out as if I was gonna be home all week. Because I have a place where like, you know, Oh I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I set stuff for like the next day and I was like, You're an idiot. Me too. Uh unfortunately then, yeah, it's the, a floor. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In my house I fold it and put it right next to the bed. I there. use the recliner that <clears throat> because we went out and bought recliners back in the day. One for me, one yeah. for Tina. Now that it, that Tina has one and my daughter has one. Yeah. And I got the old one, which now is the laundry chair in the bedroom. Yeah. 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 So I have a laundry chair too. I just didn't yeah. have well, it in no, the laundry. Well, like yeah. now I, I literally don't have a chair. So I usually sit in a computer chair downstairs <laughs> <laughs> like a guest. Oh, uh, yeah. We rolled this in for you. We rolled this in from just the grab, office. Grab a chair out of the kitchen. Yeah. Get, uh, get kids, get, get dad a folding chair, will yeah, you? Pretty much. <laughs> Get that a folding chair. Pretty much. The cold metal ones from the garage. Right. <laughs> the cold metal ones. Um, <clears throat> so other just little stuff around the house. Uh, either wet or dry clothes left in the in the in the washing machine mm. or in the dryer. <laughs> you know, it because I hate when they stink in the washing machine. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, we haven't run that in three days and it's still in there wet. Good job, Chuck, because he's a laundry guy. Yeah. Um, so then I'm like, rewash it. Well, that, it well, then it sets you back because usually <clears throat> when you find that is when you're bringing other you're laundry. Bringing, yeah, you're like, and need, you open it up, and you're like, great. Well, this has got to run or again. You're, or you're like, you're like, wow, I surprisingly don't have socks and underwear I'm looking for in this snack, which those can disappear on their own because when he does laundry, like I'll tell him, hey, if I don't have socks in my room by the end of the day, uh, you're not going to have video games. And it looks like like the 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 Hanes aisle threw up in my bedroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're yeah. like, where'd all this come from? It's been hidden somewhere. Yeah. You know, you didn't want to fold it. Um, and then you'll unfold. You got one ankle sock and one big sock, yeah. and you're like, "Yeah, they're both black." Okay, kudos for not being colorblind, yeah. you know. Um, but that that's what we get. But but it irks me more when I go to put a shirt on, and it looks like a homeless guy slept in it for a month. And yeah. you're like, uh, "What about this looks right?" And he's like, "We'll just throw it in the dryer for a minute." No, that's not a dryer for a minute type <laughs> of wrinkle, right? 
okay? And this is a cotton t-shirt, so yeah. it's not an iron wrinkle either. This is a like, hey, we're rewashing this shirt yeah. wrinkle. And it's because they leave it in the dryer that long. So that that gets me. Well, that it's funny you say that though. Um, like before this past year, like I would go down to my mom's house for the weekend to do like a honey-do list for her or do all yeah. that stuff. And I would take my laundry because I do my laundry on the weekend. Right. Now, I never said, please do my laundry. Right. But I would wake up at like six in the morning. She's already like, well, I already got a second load in the washer. Like, you don't have to do that. Don't stop. Stop doing that. Like, I didn't bring it down here for you to wash it. I brought it down here because it needs to be washed this weekend. And this is where I am going to be. Right. But then... I'll be in the net like that next week. I'll go grab a pair of socks because I don't, I don't like ball my socks up anymore, but my mom still does. So I'll do that. I like unpack a sock and one will be like a black dress sock and one will be like a white ankle sock. And I'm like, mom, we got to talk. I don't know what this was. I don't know what's going on here. Or she'll be like, I couldn't find some pairs. And then I'll like go unfold stuff and they'll be falling out of pants or falling out of like, I can, I can do my own laundry. It's okay. Yeah. You're a very intelligent person, but I will explain static cling to you. Right. And, uh, right. Well, I, she doesn't like the dryer sheets. So that's right. why. Right. I got you. Which this time of your dryer sheets are monumental. Uh, Cause it's the yeah. static electricity. Even, yeah. I'll even use a dryer sheet and still be like, I'll pull stuff out. And you hear that. Sh- yeah. I'm like, okay, I got to go touch something. Yeah. <laughs> slowly touch the side of the dryer. Like, all right, cool, 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 cool. cool. Mine's always light switch. Ah, yeah, ah. You yeah. know, and I got rid of the carpet. I have, I have, you know, laminate floors and stuff and, and, uh, and I still get that. Yeah. I get out of, the, I get out of the chair and I walk over to the plane. I'm like, ah, and I do it every time. I'm too stupid. And you, and to, you know, you know, you're going to do it. You're like, I'll stand up and be like, you come in slow yeah. and you're still like, Ta-da! well, I, you ever you come know? in slow and you see the arc go yeah. from it to yeah. your finger and you're like, oh, that's cool. And then, then you shock yourself <laughs> and you're like, I saw it. I knew it was happening. <laughs> Yeah, all the time. And that reminds me. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> reminds me, remember that Peter Griffin when he got those uh, footy pajamas? And he's, yeah. <laughs> and he just kept going across the floor. <laughs> and finally, like he did it, like, like set the guy on fire. You know? <laughs> That's what it's like. Do you wear footy pajamas? No. Mac? You seem like the type. I got hardwood floors. <laughs> that doesn't mean what kind of pajamas you wear. I'm pretty sure it dictates what kind of pajamas you wear. Really? I don't know. I think it'd be fun on hardwood floors. Yeah. You could slide in risky business style I was everywhere. Say, yeah, you are Tom cruising the hell out of every room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every room. Uh, hey, so you have stairs in your house. Do you have stairs in your house, Mac? Yeah. Okay. So when you like go shopping or you come home or you have stuff that needs to go upstairs, do you put stuff like in the slots on the stairs? Like, like, hey, I'm going to grab that when I go upstairs. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you'll set stuff, when I say slots, like, between the between the balusters on the stairs. I, I don't, because my, my like, you can walk down the side of your stairs. Yeah. I can't do that, because my stairs... Oh, well, that's right. Yours turn and face the yeah, door they, when they you do go. Like a, right? They literally do a 180. They go but up, But you can still up, set up. it on the I steps. I set it on the steps, yes. Okay, so when you set it on the steps, and, and now you're in your house, you're one of four people. In my house, I'm now one of four people. I used to be one of six, okay? In, in Mac's house, he's one of two people. How many people, seconds. as far as we know? Seven. Yeah. How, how many people, and not counting the crawl space, Max, one of two people. <laughs> All right. They, okay. I'm back on. Right. <laughs> I'm with you now. Hey, first time you've ever been with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> how many people walk past what you put there without picking it up and taking it to where it goes? Three. Okay. Same, same, same <laughs> in my house, usually. Same in my house. And what's weird is, is like, it, it, I don't have to be the one that set it there. There's Some stuff of, I think lives in the stairs now. Right. That's where it lives now. <clears throat> right. My stairs are wider than yours. Correct. Yeah. So, uh, well, but it, mine, it, mine go through the balusters. Oh, so they're not seriously? really on the steps. Yeah, they're right. not on okay. the steps. You know what I mean? They're on the they're on the side. But it's still, again, you you know that I hate seeing stuff out of yeah. place and 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 thrown all over the place. So when you, I turn and look, it drives me nuts. You know, there's and, a suitcase on the one of the landings I have because yeah. I have somehow I have three landings in my own. Um, I don't remember. When some other than me, I don't remember when we've traveled. So I'm like, <laughs> why is there a suitcase here? You were out of town last you know, week. There's a border. You guys have a border now. <laughs> I think the last time we traveled was when I fell into Lake Michigan. So I don't remember when that story was, but that's been a while. Yeah. Holy cow. Was it the same suitcase? Maybe that's where your pants are. Maybe you should check that suitcase out. <laughs> yeah, they're crusted with green like, my, uh, <laughs> lake mold. So my pants suitcase never got shipped. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to talk to my guy. I don't know what happened. And then the last thing we've talked about this before, so I won't go into it too much. But the toilet paper roll, if it's empty, if you use the end of it, two things. Yes, go ahead. Uh, if you use the end of it, please replace it. If there's no more in the bathroom, please go locate some for the next person. Yeah. And then because odds are most and people putting have it more than- on top of the empty roll is not replacing it. No, and putting it on the wrong way is also 
not replace Just it. like the best uh, arm wrestling movie in the world, it goes over the top. It does go over the top. You are correct. Yeah, you are going to Lincoln Hawk the hell out of that thing, yeah. all right? You're going to make sure that that's done now, properly. If, if you've got a cat that plays with it, that's, that's that was your choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm if you've got a cat that uses the bathroom, make sure they replace the toilet paper. Kelly, and we're talking to you. You know who you are. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You know who you are. We didn't just say you're just name just now. <laughs> right. Some girl, Kelly. Yeah. Uh, so that was all I could think of around the house. Is there anything that, I mean, that won't get you like thrown out when they uh, listen to this? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, just the common stuff. Like, wh- I guess dishes too in my house too. It's like, why do dishes sit in rooms and do that? It's like, come on, man. You know? Oh, yeah. When it takes me, like, I, I have to go to an archaeological dig. Yeah. To do dishes. Where's my favorite bowl? Oh, no, I've never yeah. seen it. Or the stuff like um, putting trash next to the, on the counter next to the trash can. Oh, like, that's a great one. Is anybody else <laughs> we here? Just set him up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Is anybody else here under the impression that when you have a small waste basket next to the toilet, but next to the toilet between the wall and the toilet, um, that that is a 55 gallon drum or a dumpster? And it should just be piled on until maybe the toilet cannot be visible anymore. No, but I, I do think my family thinks that the kitchen garbage, like, there's a hole in it that goes down to the basement. <clears throat> like a chute? Yeah. Yeah. Because but it's There's like, only two um, of you, though. Black hole or something yeah. in there. Yeah. It, and it has a lid. So when the lid <laughs> when the lid is at any angle other than yeah. straight across the top... We've reached capacity. Yeah. We, we, yeah. We've, or, yeah. Or, I mean, there's... Or the odor. The odor. Oh, the odor. That's but sometimes the they'll thing. throw some stuff in there that like could have been broken down or whatever. Yeah. And I will literally like, if I'm wearing my boots, I will step on it and like human garbage compactor it. Yeah. I'm like okay, there's there's clearly was there was a container that a food container that just right. needed to be crushed. Sure. But when we get to the point where it's literally like you're janking your uh, your garbage, that's got to go out. Yeah. Well, see now my kids, if they clean the room, I'll go clean your room. They'll clean their room, and any garbage you get out of there goes right in their bathroom. I'm like, the next thing you're cleaning is your bathroom. So why did you take the small, you know, 14-inch high garbage can in there, has like a uh, a, a four-by-four four timber hanging out of it? You know, like, yeah. I, I could be finishing the deck and be like, hey, here's a scrap piece of wood. Okay, Dad. They'll walk in the house, <laughs> go upstairs <laughs> in their bathroom, throw it in the trash can. Dad, garbage is full. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> and I'll go up there later and I'll be like, who did that? I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. Who? Well, so you don't know who put the board that I gave you. <laughs> and I watched you take it into the house. You don't know who moved it from the front door into your garbage can? No, yeah. I don't know. No, I, I don't that, know. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense at all. I, I'm, I'm lazy. I would have I have no that. idea. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have walked all the way up here. Yeah. You, you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. But that's that's what it is. They treat it like it's like a dumpster. And I'm like, okay, when it gets to a level, that's meant to like catch, you know, Kleenex, empty toilet paper rolls, you know, yeah. empty toothpaste, like you a know. Q-tip. Some right. floss. And then when when you're done, you, you get rid of it. Yeah. You know, and actually you should just get in the well, habit of emptying a couple, every couple of days anyway. I I'm fortunate. I didn't know when I I didn't know when I bought the house. Yeah. But it turns out every flat <clears throat> surface in my kitchen is a garbage can. Oh, really? I wasn't aware of that. Ooh. You got like the GT yeah, model. I was <laughs> that, the thing that really drives me nuts is like, you know how you open up a resealable bag, you see rip the top part from the resealable to the top. Yeah, new. but I do suck at those. So I, I make a lot of mess with that stuff. No, I I'm just saying like stuff. I will I will just I that thin strip. Yeah, I guarantee you that anytime I walk in the kitchen, even if I just clean it two seconds ago, there will be one of those strips on the counter. <laughs> and my kitchen is not that big. Like, you can take one step in any direction, and you will be at the garbage can. I yeah. mean, I guess not away from the garbage can. That doesn't physically make sense. <laughs> but you can make one step from any position in the kitchen and be near the garbage can if you go to it. It's not that far. <laughs> and it's just like, this This is trash. Yeah. This, the, shoot, boom, counter. Yeah. Or the counter right next to the garbage can. You're oh, like, yeah. literally, like, it, if you just, if there's an earthquake, it'll fall in the can. Yeah. You couldn't slide that. I, I get the same stuff. Now, we keep our garbage cans now in the uh, our garbage and recycling is in our pantry. So, we have to watch because the house won't smell. But the pantry But the pa- you open the pantry and like, oh! Yeah. And you're like, okay. We, oh, we made salmon yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, it Ooh. needs to go. You know, that's got to go. And it's nice this time of year because it's cold outside. You can throw the bag it up, throw it in the garage. I'll take it out later. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I also use the garage as the uh, <clears throat> the catch all as the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you call it the fridge? We have an entire garage that is eighteen <laughs> below. Yeah. I think we're all right. <laughs> Anywhere outside of the house is a fridge right yeah. now. Yeah. Right yeah, now, Texas just learned this week about the outdoor fridge. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, huh? Yeah. How do you keep your beer cold now? Put it yeah. in the pool. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Put it in the pool. <laughs> um. But no, you you brought that up. I didn't have that on the list, but that yeah, that garbage can thing, again, it, that was because I'm be- the one. Except for uh, what I'm saying, and I, to be fair, I want to be completely 
up front when I'm not feeling well or I'm sick or I've had a I've had a rough you know day the day of garbage. Other people will volunteer to take the garbage out. Yeah, but usually like every other week of the year, I'm the one on Monday nights walking around the house, finding all the garbage, emptying yeah. all the small cans into a big bag, and then taking that out and rolling them down to the street. That that's my thing. Uh, but so yeah, so the fact that they know that I'm the one that takes the garbage out. Yeah. It, you could at least just put it in a can. And that way I just have to empty the cans and go around. But literally, I'm walking around like garbage, garbage, recycling, garbage, garbage, recycling, 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 mm-hmm. recycling. And just like. So, so that reminds me, I changed out blinds in the, in the kids' rooms. And they're like 58 inches long, right? So I change out the blinds. <laughs> and I give them the blinds. I go, hey, get rid of these. Okay. <laughs> I go in. Both sets of blinds stood up in the can in the corner next to. Now, they're taller than the toilet because they're 58 inches tall. Right. And I'm like, who who did that? We well, said to get rid of them. Well, yeah, technically, yeah. you did. Yeah. Okay. Technically, they're not in the room I was in, so they <laughs> yeah. they are yeah. rid of. Yeah. They are rid of. Okay. You, you did. <laughs> yeah. You did follow the specifications I yeah. gave you. I guess. Damn you, loophole. Damn <laughs> well, you. My mom has a garbage <laughs> can in her bathroom, but that's where she keeps the plunger, so it doesn't like. Right. So it doesn't. But yeah, that means she doesn't have a garbage can. She now has a plunger holder. <laughs> and I'll be in there now. So she's like, you, you threw this away in the in the thing. I'm like, well, it's a garbage can, mom. If it's not for garbage, where am I supposed to throw this? <laughs> Just picturing her anytime she has garbage, throws in the toilet, flushing. I got a plunger can. <laughs> 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 Those rolls do not go down very good at all. I threw out a toothbrush. I can't get it to go down. <laughs> <laughs> she also like whenever we go to Branson, spend the Branson money. When I pick her up, she's like, "Oh, we're gonna take the garbage out because I don't want it to sit in the house." And I'll open up the kitchen garbage, and it'll be a new bag with like a paper towel in it. <laughs> I'm like, "Mom, you can leave this here. This will be fine." Or go get a go get like a grocery bag and put that. In, like, don't throw out yeah. your entire <laughs> hefty sack. Hence the salmon. You if you know you have something that stinks, oh, that, yeah, that I, goes in a yeah. separate bag, goes on yep. the garage. You know, because tomorrow that's going to smell. Right. Not not the stuff you cooked that you scraped the plate. That'll be okay. That's fine. But the raw packaging and everything that that was in. So you know? we we have uh, two air fryers. Okay, you don't need to brag. And <laughs> and I would like to put this on record right now. <laughs> I like to put this on record. I don't need to hear about an air fryer for the rest of my life. <laughs> so those of you that get this far in the podcast, please stop. Ted's looking for recipes. <laughs> and when we have two uh, Instapots. Oh, yeah. and we didn't realize. I, I I'm not. I'm gonna say we, but we used one and then forgot that we had used it. Oh no! Yeah, so that went in the trash because it oh that immediately not the instant pot but like everything went in, went to a separate bag went out in the garbage. I went out the next day to shovel, and I was like I could smell that outside in the driveway. Yeah, and that was overnight having been like eighteen below, and it was still like we're not dying, <laughs> we're holding on. And yeah, I was, it, was, it wasn't like all the way down, but when I was near the garbage can, it was like oh, oh god, that stuff is in there. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that and that's more or less in the summertime all the time. You oh, know? Yeah. or like milk. It's like, oh, come on, you know. <laughs> I told you about that time that. <clears throat> oh yeah. Right after I, we got a new car. The new car. The oh. milk chug. Oh, and Ooh. you can't get that smell out. No. It's 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 in there forever. Um, so this is a part of me now. <laughs> what about so in in public? The only one that I really put down that popped in the top of my head was um, when you're out in public, uh, unruly kids. And maybe it's because I'm a dad now and my kids are older. But if I ever had a crying baby or I ever had a one that <clears throat> was either throwing a, temp, a temper tantrum or wasn't getting their way or this or that, first off, they didn't throw very long because I'm, I'm a parent. That's my job to make sure you don't. But they were removed from the situation. Yeah, I was going to say, they're you remo- know, removing. No. They're removed. Yeah. They're not like rewarded with like, oh, if you would just be quiet, I'm going to give you that. No, 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 no. I don't know. You know? Yeah. Because I, 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 I get that at times you do just have to let them work it out because you right. can't like if they know you'll that, make it worse yeah if they know that if they do this you'll react to it yeah then they'll just continue to do it but yeah if you're in a public place and they are literally like blowing the roof off with their cries or screams you you need to take them out you're destroying everybody yeah. else's you, time you, right yeah yeah and that, I, and, and by the take them out i mean like out of the room i mean don't like sniper them <laughs> take them out you need to take them out <laughs> you talk into your collar go ahead take the shot yeah take the shot it's clear it's clear <laughs> Take the shot. Move my biscuits and gravy. Take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> but no, I, I I just can't. I can't. What time is it? It's, are we going? We're, we're going at an along? hour almost now. Oh, well, Brian, you got somebody coming in right away? No, I got a couple of remote like podcasts <clears throat> where I'm just going to sit here and listen. Oh yeah, and make sure nobody breaks Wait. anything. Does it start right away? Well, Wait, I don't. 
Like they're going to be wait. recording from their respective homes. No, I get that, but I you were going to listen. Well, I mean, oh yeah, know. we caught him. He's already like, no, nope, you're right, you got me. So you know what Brian's thing is? Brian's like, look, I'm either going to talk in your podcast or I'm going to listen. There's one of two things. All right, <laughs> you guys want me to talk, I'm not listening. All yeah. right, the other guys are like, shut up, I got to listen. It is what it is. So that's true. So what's nice is I, you're getting something for the for the buck you spent, right? right. You're either getting talking or listening. It's 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 pretty good. That's a good. I, I think what Damon was trying to say is that do we need to cut it off or are we going longer? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I got a couple minutes. We got a couple right. minutes. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. So just flash the light when we get to the end. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure Andrew sees it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a dig. It I was like that one. I like. He's that the one. Tom Brady of, uh, of stand-up <laughs> comedy. You know. <laughs> Nobody wants to see him succeed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so instead of doing strange stories, because we when we get into that, we go real long all the time. Yeah, I think we so have to I don't, wrap it I don't up. really want to get into that. Um, what if um, I, I'd like to bring up one thing I saw the other day that that really tripped me was uh, I'm into now where you see different commercials. And it started with the Super Bowl because I thought some of the ads were really good. And I thought some of the retro stuff they pulled back, like the Wayne's World and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> again, to our generation, that's that's funny. To the younger kids, they may not know. I'm sorry, Brian. Did you want to move? <laughs> yeah. I just remember one of my pet peeves. Oh, go ahead, please. Go ahead. We're six minutes it off involved that. involved but... the, the Wayne's World one. Yeah, go ahead, Brian. They gave him like... Go ahead, Brian. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Am I jingling keys, Brian? Is that throwing you off? <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? what? Oh, yeah, you know what? I don't care anymore. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. All right. So Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Right. So they've got them with their like hair dyed. Like Wayne has jet black hair. Like it's still 1992, but he's still got the face of like a 63 year old yeah. man. Like, why didn't funny. they just make them look like an older? Yeah. It would have been funny. Wayne I think. Garth. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Nuts! Like it should have just looked like the same two dudes that haven't grown up at all. But instead, they're like they're still in their mom's creepy, basement. Plastic right. yeah. caricatures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they're gonna put them like because like, they there was that one was it a cable co or phone company or something where they would put the actors in a movie and they would cut out of the scene and like there was one I'm, I remember because there was a Back to the Future one where they put Christopher Lloyd in after Marty goes back and he turns to the instead of doing the yeah we did it or whatever a celebration he actually turns to the camera and starts talking about whatever the product is they put you know. Christopher Floyd back in there, so they de-aged him yeah. because he's supposed to be in that scene. That I don't mind, but you're right. It, we, yeah. we all know it's been 30 years since right. Wayne's World. You could at least be like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Because right. you're right. <laughs> it, it really looks like, oh, gross. Because <laughs> <Yeah. Right. Yeah. laughs> he was like, they were in their 30s when they were pretending to be like yeah. young kids when they were originally doing it. Well, and like Mike Myers, he does look, he, he looks significantly older, no yeah. doubt. But Dana Carvey didn't look that far off. Well, because he was already an adult when he did it. Right. You know what I mean? He <laughs> yeah. didn't age through that. He was already. Yeah. But no, I really, uh, I, I totally agree. And it would have been funnier too, like if they did Silver Fox or something, you know what I mean? Where they got the, yeah, they still got the same hair cut, but there's a lot yeah. more gray infused right. in there, you know? So maybe they're using my shampoo. Maybe that's why they don't have the. Uh, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Well, I just wash out the gray. That's all. So it doesn't, it, people go, are you dying your beard? No, I wash out the gray. It's a difference. Yeah. That's a. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, that's it's a science, razor folks. thin edge you're, you're, you're stating there. <laughs> it's science, folks. Um, no, but the one I wanted to bring up, <clears throat> I saw the other day was uh, it was for guaranteed rate, and it has like they they cut to. Oh, a, you mean like Comiskey Park guaranteed rate? Yeah. Or is, that, is that the name? I don't remember what the name. Of it is. I think it is. It sounds I, like I think something it is. Like that. But it's it's for guaranteed rate, and it's a commercial about a blind man who climbed Everest. Okay. Does he really know that? So that's my point. I knew that's where you were going. <laughs> All right. So I knew it. So they stress the fact that he braved the cold and the snow for days to make it to the top. He could Some, have just been in your yard. Correct. Sometimes <laughs> climbing on what appeared to be a ladder, right? And I said, and so I, my note that I wrote myself, and I, I said it out loud. My wife's like, that's not right. And I'm like, then I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> yep, um, yep. This checks out. But I put, honestly, if I had a blind buddy in the current weather we've had, I'd pull out my ladder, set up a tent on my deck, you know, like base camp, <laughs> and make wait, him wait, believe- wait. Yeah. And You're going to pitch a tent? You said deck, right? Yeah. Deck. Okay. And make him believe he's the second blind man to ever do it. <laughs> Best part would be I wouldn't have to even Photoshop anything because how's he going to know? You know what I mean? So, so can, it's really. What you could do is have him wear a backpack. 
Yes, right. And walk him around your yard. And then when he gets in your driveway, <laughs> punch a hole in it and salt falls out. You know, have him go up and down the sidewalks. <laughs> what am I what am I holding on to? It's my snowblower. <laughs> I got him running lines. There's, there's a lot of wind. <laughs> a lot of wind. <laughs> but my thought is, is, you know where my patio door is. That's where my chair is. If I put him in a de- on my deck in a tent, I can sit inside where it's warm and watch this guy live at base camp. Yeah, make sure he's okay. And if he ever looks confused, I just open the door and be like, hey. And I'm, <laughs> yeah, you know. have some helicopter sounds. So it sounds like you're opening a helicopter door. <laughs> Hence the snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right down there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, first off, if you're blind and you're my friend, don't come over to my house when it's cold outside. I, I think it's just you don't have to put it when it's cold outside <laughs> or ever. Yeah, but but that was my big thought. Is seriously when this guy's doing this and and they and he gets a top. Now I applaud him because I have sight and it's something I'll never do. Right. Mostly because I'll never attempt it because I don't want to. He could have been on the Matterhorn <clears throat> at Disney for all he knew. Correct. Correct. Why do like a roller? Is that a Yeti? Why did I have to have a fast pass to climb this mountain? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of people here. I mean, there's a line. Well, you know, there's if a you line ever see going up Everest. Everest. It is like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I just, I, I really thought to myself, I'm like, dude, I'll pull the old Werner out, put it next to the deck. <laughs> He'll climb up and down it a couple of times. Okay, climb up it. Now he's on the deck. Wait, hold on a minute. You know what I mean? I didn't realize there was, it was so laddery yeah. at the, at the, in this mountain. <laughs> Then I'd probably just go like nonchalantly bump him and push him off. So he had to climb the same ladder over and over. You are so clumsy. We're never going to get to the top, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or just put it next to the house. Get the extension ladder. Yeah. And the next thing you know, I'm like, what? Oh, the- well, you just walk him up the one side of the deck, down, <laughs> down the other side, around the pool, back up the deck. <laughs> <and> around- <laughs> right. A lot of switchbacks. We got a lot of switchbacks. Yeah. I mean, turn around a couple times. I haven't yeah. come up. We lost way. our burrow. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. we lost him. Um, but no, that was that was my whole thought. Is and they, and they they based the whole commercial around you know basically oh look at, look with this guy's accomplishments, that's great. But if I had a, I'd want my blind buddy to feel good about himself, so he's gonna suffer in the cold for me for however many days it takes to climb Mount Everest. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna let him know about his accomplishments, and I'm gonna make him feel good. I'm I'm very positive, I'm a positive person. So and I'm gonna laugh a whole lot when I'm sitting in my chair where it's warm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Seriously. You can find us at thatchecksout.net. <laughs> you can find all of our social media, and you can contact us directly. Send us your ideas. Send us your thoughts. Send us your comments, cr- rude remarks. For Damon and Brian, this has been Ted Ellipses, the star of That Checks Out. We'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Don't, you don't get the last word. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's my studio. Yeah. Do what I want. <laughs> He'll go put it in later. <laughs> yeah. yep. and, unless you pay him to take it out. I guess he does. <laughs> hey, it's hard to talk when them keys were jingling, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs>